So once we've done the planting, what we've created is a, a matrix where we've, we've put back the, the primary species into the ecosystem. So we're probably going to be planting around 700 trees on a hectare. So we've, cre we've created a framework and within three to five years we should get canopy closure, which means that the, the trees will form a darkened space beneath them. And what happens then is the, the, uh, the ecosystem will change, you'll get a lot more humidity, and that will allow different species to grow that are used to more shade. Um, some of the indicators that we're, we're achieving our results would be uh, an increase in the diversity of, of smaller trees that start germinating underneath because a lot of this forest already has, uh, even though it's been grazed heavily, there's still a lot of native species that will still come up. And our main indicator will be the return of biodiversity. Um, you can create a framework where the trees are there, but will the, the biodiversity increase over time? And that's what I found in Canada. When you plant a restoration project, even as you're planting it, the, the species are keyed to the species that you're putting back, and they start to return. So watching how the biodiversity increases over time is our indication that the project is successful.